CS Practice Works Getting Started with ePrescriptions. Click Continue to proceed. The CS Practice Works ePrescription service enables you to send and manage prescriptions electronically. After you enroll in the service and set up the integration, PracticeWorks interacts directly with ePrescriptions to facilitate direct communication with the patient's pharmacy using stored preferences. Once subscribed to ePrescriptions, enable the service. From the main menu, select Activities, ePrescriptions, Enable ePrescriptions. Your service may have already been enabled by your CareStream Dental Implementer during the installation or implementation process. When ePrescriptions is enabled, the Prescription Drug History window displays the ePrescribe button. Before you can use ePrescriptions service, you must configure your login and other preferences. Configuring ePrescriptions Preferences The Activities menu provides access to all of the ePrescription configuration options. Begin by selecting Activities, ePrescriptions, Configure ePrescriptions Login. Enter the user ID and password provided to you by the CareStream Implementations team during your setup and click OK. Next, enter Drug Utilization Review Preferences for the providers in your practice. Select Activities, ePrescriptions, Configure DUR Preferences. Use the ePrescriptions DUR Preferences window to set the drug review warning preferences for the appropriate facility or doctors in the list. You can choose to view warnings that are severe, moderate to severe, unknown, or all warnings. You can also set the drug allergy preferences and the DUR override preferences in this window. Your default override reasons for overriding a drug warning can be entered for quick selection during the prescription process. An example might be patient previously tolerated medication. Next, click the Prescription Preferences icon. Use the features in the ePrescriptions Preference List Management window to add frequently prescribed drugs and physician comments for your practice. Click Create New Prescription to add a new prescription drug to your list. Next, click the Pharmacy Preferences icon. Here you can add frequently used pharmacies for your practice. When you are finished configuring your ePrescription preferences, close the window. Creating a new ePrescription You can write a new ePrescription while you are charting the patient's condition or treatment and also directly from the patient's clipboard. Once electronically issued, a prescription reaches the pharmacy within 30 seconds. From the clipboard, click Prescriptions and the ePrescribe option is displayed. In the patient's chart, either from the Hard Tissue, Soft Tissue, or Progress Notes tabs, click Prescriptions. Click ePrescribe to create an electronic prescription. The ePrescriptions module opens. Here you can view formulary information while creating this prescription. If Prescription Hub is unable to locate any benefit plan information, as shown here, ePrescription alerts the user and the display indicates the state Medicaid plan based on the patient's address. If the patient is not eligible for Medicaid, select Use None. Next, the Prescription Pad window is displayed. Use this window to create a new prescription, re-prescribe an existing prescription, and manage the patient's prescription-related information. When creating a new prescription, complete each required field noted by a blue dot. After selecting the prescriber, confirm the DEA number. If you are a nurse practitioner or a physician's assistant, select a supervisor. In the drug field, enter the first few letters of the prescribed drug, then make a selection from the list of preferred prescriptions. If the drug is not listed, use the search feature to find it. The Drug Search window provides a list of medications in the database that start with the letters entered into the description field. It also provides the generic version of drugs when available. To select a generic version, click the link displayed in the Generic Name column. To select a brand name drug, click Select next to the drug name. Once a drug is selected, 
Click View DUR Warnings. DUR warnings are based solely on the allergens added for that patient in the ePrescriptions module before creating a prescription. Allergen information from WinOMS is not linked, and any allergens added while creating a prescription will not prompt notifications until the next prescription is written. DUR warning notifications can be in red, green, or yellow. Warnings in red must be reviewed before issuing the prescription. If the DUR summary includes a red warning, you can still prescribe the medication and include an override reason. Click Accept and Return. The override reason notes are added to the Notes to Pharmacist field. In the SIG field, enter instructions for taking the drug or select from the list that is displayed when you start typing. Click the arrow to display a list of SIGs pulled from your prescription preferences, as well as any available industry standards for the medication. If the patient is under 18 or over 62, no industry standards will be available. A blank list means that a SIG must be created by clicking the Build SIG button. If a preferred medication is chosen with the SIG selected, the quantity, day supply, refills, and units of measure fields are populated automatically. If the SIG was created when the prescription was created, complete these fields manually. Select the DAW checkbox if you want the pharmacy to use the name brand and not substitute a generic form of the medication. Use the Notes to Pharmacist field to enter any additional comments for this prescription. The notes are transmitted to the pharmacy and become a part of the patient's drug history record. The Issue 2 field populates automatically with the pharmacy from the last prescription issued. To select a different pharmacy for this patient, click the arrow to display a list of favorites pulled from your pharmacy preferences or click Search. Next, select the method to issue the prescription. Select Electronic to send the prescription electronically as long as there is not a restriction for doing so, such as your state not allowing electronic prescribing of controlled substances. Select Electronic or Print to send the prescription electronically and to print a copy for the patient. Select Handwritten when the prescription is handwritten by the prescriber and the data will be updated in the patient's history. Select Print when the prescription is printed and signed by the prescriber for the patient to take to the pharmacy. Select Reported to report that the patient is taking the prescription. This can also be done through the patient's history. Select Sample to indicate that the doctor is providing a sample medication to the patient and will add the lot number and expiration date in the comment field. Select Telephone when the prescription is verbally given to the pharmacy and then stored in the patient's history. To view further prescription information about the patient, select Prescription History. Under Reported Prescription, report any medication that the patient is taking but is not in the history. Note, if selected now, you will have to recreate the prescription. Click Monograph to display information regarding the medication being prescribed, which can be printed for the patient. Select Dosage to activate the dosage checker and check to guard against overdosing or underdosing the patient. Build SIG enables you to create and save a new SIG in your preferences for this medication. Click Insert Allergies to populate the Notes to Pharmacist field with the allergies present in the patient history. When the prescription is complete, click Issue to issue it or click Hold to place it on hold for authorization and issue later. Once the prescription is issued, a confirmation screen is displayed enabling you to print a label, print the prescription, create another prescription, and view the patient's prescription history. Creating an e-prescription for a controlled substance The process for creating an e-prescription for a controlled substance is the same as creating a new e-prescription up until the point of issuing the prescription. Controlled substance prescriptions require an electronic signature from the prescriber prior to being issued to the pharmacy. CareStream Dental eServices uses Change Healthcare and their ID.me service for provider authentication when prescribing controlled substances. Complete a new prescription and click Issue. 
The prescription summary window opens with details of the prescription for review. The first time you create an e-prescription for a controlled substance, you are prompted by ID.me to create a passphrase. This unique passphrase is required to be entered for every script. During the registration process for ID.me, it was recommended to use push notifications for approval of account authentication. Click Push. Approve the sign-in notification on your device. Now, in ePrescriptions, you are able to select Sign and Transmit for the prescription to complete the sign-in process and issue the prescription. The ePrescriptions issued window is displayed, confirming that the prescription was issued successfully. Running ePrescription Reports You can retrieve the following report information from the ePrescription service, prescription authorizations, prescription reports, and prescription status. Select Activities, ePrescriptions, Reporting, and select the menu option for the information you want to retrieve. The Prescription Authorizations report displays a list of prescriptions that need to be authorized. If you have multiple prescribers in your practice, narrow the list by selecting a prescriber from the drop-down. To activate the Authorize, Details, and Void buttons, select a prescription or use Select All or Print List. Note, controlled substances can only be authorized one at a time due to the passcode requirement. The Prescriptions Report is a customizable report generator with no required fields. Only one search criteria element is needed to run the report. For example, use the report to show all prescriptions filled for a specific patient or pharmacy, or all prescriptions written for a certain drug. The Prescription Status Report displays a summarized window that highlights any prescriptions requiring action. The Prescription Status section lists the number of new prescriptions, renewals, pending prescriptions, and errored prescriptions. If you are not currently an ePrescription subscriber, contact your CareStream Dental representative for more information at 800-944-6365. This concludes CS PracticeWorks Getting Started with ePrescriptions.